So where did the first guru happen? If guru-disciple relationship is real, then where did the first guru start? How did the first person become guru? Nityanam guys, welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. So I'm making this video basically to answer the potential question you might have, which is, okay, if Guru is mandatory for enlightenment, if Guru is the only path to enlightenment, because like I shared in a previous video, Swamiji was sharing, and it was a big click for me, that you do not know what Paramashiva truly is. So being your idea of Paramashiva and what is Paramashiva is totally di is different. Uh, totally different, maybe not, but it is different. And when you are in oneness with your idea of Paramashiva, you'll be in oneness with your incompletions, your projections of Paramashiva, which are not real. So first you need to experience Paramashiva in its reality, and the only way to do that is to get the experience through somebody who's already experienced Paramashiva as a reality, which is the Guru. And so by through the Guru, you remove your illusions and delusions about what Paramashiva is, and then once that happens, you realize that whatever is left, what the Paramashiva as it is, is you, and you are in oneness with that. So, so the question that people will say, okay, if I'm getting it from his guru, then his guru will get from his guru, then his guru will get from his guru, then his guru will get from his guru, and it's endless. But where does it start? So I was looking into this question, I had a click. If you look at the Puranas, Swamiji says, and the Puranas always show, that enlightenment is always bestowed, it is always given. Man cannot get enlightened, it, he has to be given. Uh, because the identity that we have as a human is ego. So ego cannot access superconsciousness. It's not possible because superconsciousness is so much more far ahead than the ego. So superconsciousness has to enter and dissolve the ego for the realization to be uh, ultimate and complete. And guru is always required and enlightenment has always been given. Whether it is you receiving it from your guru physically and being trained by your guru and making that experience as your cognition and starting to radiate that enlightenment or some like some beings where they happened in a time where perhaps a guru was not there to fulfill their seeking they went into intense tapas intense serene uh, sincere austerities and they were able to get darshan of shiva they were able to have a divine glimpse where shiva literally the super consciousness materialized itself temporarily at that moment to bestow and to bless, to give the boon of what the uh, being was asking for and then after that go back to a cosmic form. So either way, whether it is through a physical guru or through having darshan of a deity, it is always given, it is always bestowed. And when a guru is available, a guru who is established in the space of the ultimate is available in the physical plane, then the chances to manifest the darshan are nearly impossible because if you are in that space since you're seeking automatically your being will attract will attract is not the right word will manifest guru guru will will somehow reach you and then because you have this sincere seeking you will be pulled towards the guru you will drawn you will be drawn towards the guru and you will experience that ultimate through the guru so that is uh, my answer to this question of where did it start it is guru or darshan of the divine and it depends of the time in which you are whether a master is established in the ultimate or not so that varies from time to time from ages to ages from yugas to yugas but it is always bestowed so that is why feeling connection with the guru is ultimate and yes Nityanam guys so subscribe like leave a comment thank you again for watching these videos uh, perhaps sharing it with friends if you feel this content can enrich them and raise their understanding about existence, life, and perhaps the reason why or the, the purpose of having Guru in their life. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. I welcome you all with my love and response. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda